Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be trying to find some of the cleanest GTA 5 car builds that I see on TikTok. There's going to be a total of 5 builds in this video, and I will also be showing you all the parts added to each build in case you want to add any of these to your car collection. Anyways, before getting into it, make sure you all do me a quick favor and drop a like on the video, and also make sure you guys hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on, that way you never miss out on a future GTA 5 video just like this one. But without further ado, let's get into the very first TikTok car car customization build. So for the first TikTok car build, we are going to be customizing the LEG RH8. Now the TikTok that I saw for it was pretty clean as you can see on your screen right now and I'm going to be trying my best to replicate it and let you know the exact parts that you need to put on the vehicle to achieve this exact build. So let me stop talking and let me order the LEG RH8 and I'll be back with you when I'm actually at Los Santos Customs. So we are now at the Los Santos Customs as you can see right behind me with the LEG RH8 of course, a completely free vehicle by the way so if you're a beginner and you want to make this build you can easily do so. Now let's go ahead and enter inside of the Los Santos Customs though and now we need to make the exact car build that we saw in that TikTok. If you do not know, I have no type of tutorial or no type of instructions to make this build, so I'm just gonna have to try my best right now to replicate it exactly as it looked, so wish me luck. And here are the final results for how my TikTok car build ended up looking like. If you ask me, I think I did a pretty good job at replicating that car exactly as it looked in that TikTok and I'd give this a solid 8 out of 10 for looks. Let me know what you would rate this out of 10 down below in the comment section. But yeah, here's how the car ended up looking like at the end. Now let's go ahead and go over the exact parts that you need to put on this vehicle if you want to make this car build for yourself. So going over the first upgrade that you should put is going to be right here at the bumpers. Now for the front bumper, you're going to want to put the splitter with canards and for the rear bumper, you're going to put the painted bumper and diffuser. As far as the exhaust goes, you can put whatever exhaust you want. You can see I have the stock one, but you can literally put whichever one of these you want to. You can even put the raced exhaust if you want to, but that's completely up to you though. A real key upgrade that you do need to put on this build is going to be right here at the hood section. Once you click the hoods, you're going to want to make sure that you put the carbon hood on this build. That's going to make this build basically pop out that much more. As you can see, the carbon hood looks way better than just having a stock hood. That's just my opinion though. And we're almost done. Let's go over the respray now. Next for the respray, you're going to want to come over here to where it says primary color, come over here to where it says classic, and now put the yellow paint job color. It's number 33. Once you put that yellow paint job color, now come back over here to where it says secondary color and do the same thing for the secondary color just come over here to classic and then put the yellow paint job we're almost done we just have one more upgrade and that's actually over here at the wheels so come over here to where the wheels are go over here to where it says wheel type go down to where it says street and now you're going to want to put these stance eg custom wheels number eight these are exactly how they look like and once you put these wheels on you now need to come back here come over here to wheel color and make sure that you have the frost white wheel color now once you have all those things you now should have this exact car build and now let's go ahead and take it outside and take a look at how it looks like outside in the sun. And now coming outside with the LG RHA, as you guys can see, yup, I stand corrected. This is a solid 8 out of 10 for looks. I only spent around 30 or $40,000 when it came to upgrading this LG RHA, so a really, really cheap build. Literally, if you're a beginner in GTA 5 and you pull up in this car, this is a pretty cool beginner car if you ask me. Good looks, and it's also very, very cheap. But that's only the first build. Let's go ahead and get into the second TikTok car customization build now. So getting into the second TikTok, TikTok car customization build that we're going to be trying to replicate. This is going to be on the Buffalo STX. As you can see, this build looks very, very clean and we're going to be trying to replicate it exactly as it looks in that TikTok. I already own the Buffalo STX, so I won't be needing to purchase it. So let me go ahead and call it out and let's get to customizing it. Now we just arrived at the Los Santos Customs with my Buffalo STX and I'm not going to lie, it makes me a little bit sad switching the color on this car because if you guys don't know, this is the exact car that I have in real life. Like literally the same color, same interior color, everything. Literally, this is my exact car that I have in real life. The only difference is my car is the wide body version, but yeah. Anyway, that's not really the point. Let's go ahead and get to customizing this build and making it exactly how that TikTok showed. Well, that was way faster than I expected. It literally took me like one minute to customize this car exactly how his looked because his car basically was completely stock. Like literally everything was stock except the color, of course. And if you ask me, the only thing that makes this car very clean is the color of choice. I don't know what color this is. Let's actually go take a look at the color right now in case you want to put this color on your vehicle or your buffalo stx you just have to go over here to primary color come over here to classic and you have to put the number nine color right here the rolled steel color and that's basically going to achieve the exact look that he had on his buffalo stx you literally just have to put the rolled steel color and as you can see right now i'm leaving los santos customs because that's literally it when it comes to customizations for this car you literally just have to put the rolled steel paint job on the buffalo stx and boom you literally have that guy's exact car build and if you guys ask me this car build does 
does look clean, but it's not really the car build that looks clean. It's more just the car. I'm just in love with chargers, by the way, if you guys didn't know. But yeah, I'd give this car, a, I'd say like a solid 6 out of 10. I'd give it a 6 out of 10, but the car itself is a 10 out of 10. I just love the Buffalo STX. But now let's go ahead and switch it back to my original car because I am not feeling this car build. Okay, okay, looking a lot better. I have my original car build for my Buffalo STX. I don't know what that guy was thinking by making the window tints have no type of window tints on that other build. Like, if you're going to drive a Buffalo STX, guys, you must put window tints. Everybody knows Dodge Chargers must have dark window tints. That's just what makes the car look even more mean in my opinion but yeah that's the second tiktok car customization that we went over let's go ahead and get into the third tiktok car customization and hope that that build is a little bit better okay but now getting into the third tiktok car customization build that we're going to be trying our best to replicate this is going to be on the prairie as you can see the prairie is a street vehicle if you didn't know so you can literally find this car on the street for completely free if you wanted to but i'm not going to do that i'm just going to go on the internet and go over here to the southern san andreas come over here to two door and then click sort by price once because the vehicle that we're trying to purchase is one of the cheaper ones and let's see if we find it yep here it is the Balacan prairie only $25,000 but like I said you can find this on the street for completely free if you wanted to but yeah we just ordered it inside of my apartment now there's nothing left to do except wait and once the vehicle comes we'll get to customizing it and trying our best to replicate it exactly as it showed in that TikTok. we have now secured the prairie as you can see here is how the vehicle looks not too exciting of course it is just a normal street vehicle but now we're going to get to customizing it and then i'm going to show you exactly what you need to put in this car to make it look cool so i'll be back with you guys once i'm done customizing so after replicating the car exactly as it looked in that tiktok here is how it turned out if you ask me it's a pretty decent looking car considering the fact that it's only twenty five thousand dollars and you can find it roaming the streets of gta 5 but let's go ahead and go over each customization to put on this vehicle in case you want to make this build for yourself now there aren't that many things that you need to add to this vehicle in order to achieve the build but the first thing you need to do is come over to bumpers go over here to front bumpers and then put on the mark ii tuner bumper next for the color you need to come over here to where it says respray click right here where it says primary color then come down to classic and you need to put the number 38 primary color the c green once you do that only one more upgrade to put on the vehicle and that's going to be right here for the wheels so go ahead and go over to wheels click right here where it says wheel type and then come down to where it says sport once you click sport now click stock rims and you need to put the number four wheels the law laws speed i think is how you say it laws speed mark v wheels the number four once you put those wheels on next thing you need to do is come over to where it says wheel color and make sure you have your wheel color set to black once you have that you now have the exact build that was shown in that tiktok the prairie street car build but yeah for this vehicle build that's basically gonna be it there's not really much to expect when you have a $25,000 car and a car that you literally can find off the streets in gta 5 but for a $25,000 car that you can find on the streets i guess this build does look pretty decent but if you're gonna ask for my rating i'd still give this a 6 out of 10. so getting into the fourth tiktok car custom we're going to be replicating the Dinka Blista Conjo. As you can see in the TikTok right now on your screen, it's literally just a TikTok of how the car looks like, no type of instructions whatsoever. So I'm literally going to have to try my best to recreate this car exactly as it looks like on that TikTok with no type of instructions, but I'm pretty confident I can do so. So yeah, now there's nothing left for me to do except buy the Dinka Blista Conjo and then get to upgrading it. So I'll be back with you once I get the Dinka Blista Conjo and bring it in front of Los Santos Customs. All right, we got the Dinka Blista Conjo right here. It costs me a total of half a million dollars so it kind of is a little bit of an expensive vehicle especially for what it is i think it's like a honda civic right if i'm not mistaken but now there's nothing left to do except customizing it exactly as it showed in that tiktok so i'll be back with you guys once i tried my best to replicate it and hopefully it turned out good and here is how the dinka blista conjo looks like after me fully customizing it trying my best to replicate how it looked like in that tiktok if you ask me i think i did a pretty good job replicating it literally almost looks exactly the same and i'm not gonna lie when i was customizing it it wasn't looking that good but now looking at it it looks like a pretty clean vehicle not gonna lie like this is a vehicle i'd actually drive around gta 5 with anyways let's go over what's actually on this vehicle in case you want to use this build for yourself so the first thing you want to do to this car is go over to where it says bumpers click right here where it says front bumpers and put on the third bumper right here once you put on the third front bumper now come down to where it says rear bumpers and then put on the second rear bumper next thing you need to do is come over to where it says hood and then click hood and put on the 16th hood which is going to be the very last hood 
called the big turbo hood that's gonna have this little turbo sticking out of the hood like this makes it look very clean and next thing you want to do of course is going to be the respray or the paint job of the car so come over here to where it says respray go to primary color go over here to where it says metallic and then put on the sunset red as your primary color now once you do this you're going to want to do the same thing for the secondary so come over here to where it says secondary color come down to where it says metallic and once again put on the sunset red secondary color now we're almost done for these skirts you need to put the second skirt right here the primary skirts and next you need to come over here to where it says spoiler and make sure you put on the eighth spoiler the primary flap wing spoiler here is exactly how it looks like and then make sure you come over here to where it says sun strips and then put on the primary sun strip right here and then you're basically completely done with the build the only thing you need to do next is put on the wheels that i have right here if you guys want to know which wheels i have just go over here to wheels go to wheel type come down to where it says street and you're going to want to put on the big mamba wheels number 25 and once you put on these wheels next thing you need to do is come to where it says tires go to tire design and make sure you have the fukuru white once you have this now come down to where it says wheel color and make sure you have your wheel color set to black once you guys have all that set you now should have the exact car build that i have right here and it looks very very clean let's go ahead and take it outside right now and like i said very very clean build the dinka blista kanjo coming in at a total price of around six hundred fifty thousand dollars after buying the vehicle and putting upgrades on it so not that expensive if you ask me you guys know cars in gta 5 nowadays are like millions and millions of dollars and this is definitely not one of them and you also get a pretty clean car i literally never see people driving this car around in gta 5. anyway this isn't going to be the last tiktok car customization we actually have one more so let's get into that last tiktok car customization build right now and hopefully it is clean like this one was okay but now getting into the very last tiktok car customization that we're going to be trying our best to replicate this is going to be on the bf weevil custom as you can see in the tiktok right now this is the car build that we're going to be trying our best to replicate now i'm not too sure if i own a bf weevil custom i'm sure the bf weevil custom is on benny's if i'm not mistaken so let's actually go buy it right now and see how much it is right now live let's go over here to stock let's see the bf weevil i'm pretty sure this is the one that turns into the bf yep here it is you can see the bf weevil is the one that turns into the bf weevil custom of course when you put the benny's upgrade on it but yeah the bf weevil just stock is eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars, so it is a little bit expensive let's go ahead and purchase it though of course because we're gonna have to customize it let's bring it inside of this apartment right here i'm pretty sure it's empty yep there we go we just bought it for eight hundred and seventy thousand dollars. so once it gets delivered we'll take it to benny's and get to customizing it and replicating it exactly as it showed in that tiktok and hopefully the build ends up looking very clean as you can see we are now inside of the bf weevil this is not the bf weevil custom though this is just the regular bf weevil if you guys didn't know to get the bf weevil custom you have to get this bf weevil take it inside of benny's and once you take it inside of benny's you next need to put the benny's upgrade on it now i actually don't even know how much this upgrade is it's my first time ever doing the benny's upgrade to the bf weevil so we're gonna find out together let's see how much it is hopefully not too expensive and it's super expensive actually uh 9.8 million dollars on top of the 870 thousand that we already spent and ignore me saying 9.8 million let's just act like i said 980 000, not 9.8 million imagine it was 9.8 million though that'd be pretty crazy anyway we now have the bf weevil custom let's go ahead and get to customizing it exactly how it looked like in that tiktok and hopefully i get it exactly how it looked in that tiktok all right now here i am i just finished customizing the bf weevil custom exactly how it looked like in that tiktok the only thing i might not have got completely correct is that primary color right there in the middle that green color it might have been a little bit darker but i don't know how to get that exact color but everything else exactly as it looked like in that tiktok though and it wasn't that expensive as far as upgrades but of course you guys saw it was 870k for the car and then 980k just for the benny's upgrade so this definitely isn't a cheap vehicle to upgrade so if you want to make this build for yourself the things you want to put on the car is for the front bumper you're going to want to make sure you put the extended limp front bumper which is going to be the second one next come over to the respray then go over here to where it says primary color next come over here to where it says metallic and make sure you put the dark green primary color which is going to be the number 36 once you do that now come over here to where it says secondary color come over down to where it says classic and next put the frost white secondary color which is going to be number 75 next come over here to where it says sun strips and make sure you put on the retro sun visor sun strip which is going to be number five now come over to the wheels click right here where it says wheel type then come over here to benny's originals and make sure you put on the rod me up wheels which are going to be the number 13 wheels once you do that now back out all the way then come over here to windows put the limbo tint windows and then you guys have the exact build that i have right here which is the build that we saw in that tiktok well there is the bf weevil right there behind me and if you guys were to ask what i'd rate this out of 10 i'd give it a 6 out of 10 only because i don't really like the bf weevil custom as a car not really because of the upgrades that he put on it but more just because of how the car is built anyways that's now going to be the end of today's video 
if you think you have any cool car builds in GTA 5 that you want to be featured in the part 2 to this series, make sure you make a TikTok on your car build, making sure that you show me the entire car, that way I can try my best to replicate it, and then make sure you at my TikTok on your TikTok, either in the comment section or in the description, it's completely up to you, that way I actually can see it. But yeah, that is now going to be the end of today's video, like I said, I hope you all did go on to enjoy, if you did want to enjoy, make sure you do me a favor and drop a like and also hit that subscribe button, and that's it for me, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.